I'm Kendra Sheehan and this is your weekly Action Central. News and notes from around the WAC for September 18th. We'll start with volleyball. UT Arlington won a school record nine matches in a row to start the season before falling at number 23 ranked TCU on Tuesday night. Utah Valley is now 8-2 after a very productive trip to Athens, Georgia, where the Wolverines took down Boston College in three straight sets on Saturday afternoon. Utah Tech is also off to a great start at 6-2. The Trailblazers Kennedy Knudsen and Taylor Snow were named to the all-tournament team at the College of Charleston Invitational. Utah Tech went 2-1 over the weekend. This week, they are at home for the first time this season. On Thursday night, the Trailblazers host Northern Arizona at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. That will be on WAC International. Then on Saturday, Utah Tech returns the favor and travels to NAU to face the Lumberjacks at 2 p.m. in Flagstaff. That match is live on ESPN+. In women's soccer, three teams are in the top 100 in the NCAA RPI rankings. Seattle U is 72, Utah Valley checks in at 91, followed by Grand Canyon at number 94. Tarleton State is also playing well with a record of 5-3-3. Three, and three. The program just started three years ago. For head coach Pete Cadrado, he's encouraged by the early success of the team this season. We've gotten more consistent, especially the last game, uh, just continuing that trend because we have to do that game in, game out. Um, as you know, we had such a tough conference. Tarleton State is at home on Thursday morning at 11 a.m. for pastries on the pitch. I'll be on the call with Kyle Cruz as the Texans face southeastern Louisiana. That will be live on ESPN+. And it's also their final match before WAC play begins next week. In men's soccer, Utah Valley is the lone unbeaten team in the WAC. The Wolverines are now 5-0-2. Omar Yeya is the University Credit Union WAC Offensive Player of the Week. He scored three goals on the week and is now third in the nation in that category. Junior midfielder Alex Fritcher is the UCU Defensive Player of the Week. He helped a defense that allowed just one goal in two matches this past week. The Wolverines have a couple big-time opponents coming up as they host number 22 UC Santa Barbara on Thursday. That's a 5 p.m. Mountain Time start. Then on Wednesday, Oregon State will be at Clyde Field in Orem. That match is set for a 7 p.m. Mountain Time kickoff. Both of those matches are live on ESPN+. Utah Valley Women's Cross Country is also doing well. They are ranked number 25 in the latest coaches poll. The WAC Cross Country Championship will be held in Orem on Friday, November 1st. For Weekly Action Central, I'm Kendra Sheehan.